Members of Parliament will today quiz Ministers Ronald Lamola and Peggy Kele on the brazen escape of rapist and murderer Tabo Besta. In a briefing last week, the Correctional Services Department said that it, in, in its investigation that they found that Besta was assisted in the prison break. Officials had initially reported that the man, who is infamously known as the Facebook rapist, died in a fire in his cell at the Mangaung Maximum Security Prison in May last year. But following an expose, the department revealed that the body was not that of Bestas. He was serving a life sentence for raping several women that he lured through social media. At the same time, G4S, that's the private security company that managed the prison, has been excluded from the parliamentary briefing. It's since written to the Justice Portfolio Committee asking to be part of that meeting. Of course, uh, we're watching the story quite closely. In fact, let's bring in Nasipi Sami, who's live to us now from Cape Town. And Nasipi, of course, still so many questions around how on earth Tabo Besta was meant to carry out that audacious escape. And more importantly, who was involved? Well, indeed, Ayanda. I mean, just the recent weeks alone, uh, Tabo Besta, serial rapist and murderer, has hogged up the headlines um, in regards to that grand escape at the Mangaung facility last year. And basically information from officials have literally trickled in and many still have a lot of questions in regards to how he escaped, who assisted him, even though we know that a few prison officials um, have, uh, have been let go or fired uh, from that facility. A lot of questions still ask as to how Bester managed to not only escape the facility, but also managed to keep a low profile. And uh, some of the allegations and the investigations that have been done by a number of publications in the recent weeks following the news that broke. So basically authorities will be put um, on, on the hot seat today to answer those burning questions that many people have had and also account in regards to what exactly happened as many of us have been asking questions, however, unable to answer those questions in regards to this grand escape by Tabo Besta. Yeah, it'll also be very interesting, Nasibi, to find out whether Parliament will give G4S their audience as per that company's request. It would have been quite interesting to hear their account in regards to taking perhaps maybe even accountability in regards to what transpired last year that led to the escape of BEST. And we do know that G4S, the global security company, was administrating uh, or the administrators of uh, that facility in Mangawong um, when BEST escaped. As much as they have uh, fired some of their employees, uh, following investigations, it would have been quite interesting to hear their account in regards to this. And we also put um, on the hot seat to answer those burning questions from parliamentarians. Absolutely. It's an important story sharply on our radar for now. Nasi Pisami, live to us there from Cape Town. Thanks very much indeed.